Hello and welcome. Until now, performing detailed pulse width modulation, or PWM, analysis in Typhoon Hill software required configuring multiple components. From the 2022.3 software version you are now able to use a dedicated component in order to have details about your PWM signals such as, duty cycle, frequency, phase shift, and even glitches during the dead time period. The main purpose of this component is to allow you to validate your controller, and specifically to validate the signals you are sending from your controller. The PWM Analyzer component extracts a collection of PWM signals at specified digital inputs. This component is based on a dedicated FPGA module with up to 3.5 nanosecond sampling resolution. Frequency, duty cycle, and minimum and maximum pulse width durations are captured for each specified signal. Let's now see how this component looks like. You can find the PWM Analyzer component in the Signal Processing group in the Extras subgroup. If you double-click on the component, you can notice two tabs, General and Outputs. You can utilize cross-channel analysis for either minimum and maximum dead time measurement, or phase shift analysis. Active logic can be specified for each signal separately. As part of the general tab, you can define the digital input that you want to observe. There is also a checkbox that enables another PWM channel where you can do cross-channel analysis such as dead time and phase shift analysis. As a part of outputs tab, you can also enable min and max pulse with outputs. Minimum and maximum outputs show the minimum and maximum pulse width durations which occur during the execution rate of the component. Let's see how this looks in a practical application. Here we have a drive example that contains a permanent magnet synchronous machine, a three-phase inverter, a single-phase rectifier, and a voltage source. The whole system is controlled by a Texas instrument card that is connected to a Hill 402 device. Now let's add the PWM analyzer component in order to have detailed information about the PWM signal. Since digital input 1 is used for controlling switch S1, we will analyze digital input 1 in the PWM analyzer. As you can see on the output side, we have a defined frequency and duty cycle. Let's compile the model and see how it looks in the simulation. Let's add both duty cycle and frequency to the capture. As you can see frequency is 20 kHz and the duty cycle is around 0.3. Now let's see how we can observe two signals for their phase shift and dead time. If you check enable second channel checkbox you will be able to do cross channel analysis. For digital input 2, we will use input 7 since it is the digital input we used for switch S2 on the first leg. For analysis type, let's select dead time analysis. Dead time analysis contains information about the minimum and maximum dead time between the chosen signals. Let's see how it looks in the simulation. By adding all those signals at capture viewports and adding a cursor you are able to see your PWM analysis. In this way you are able to have detailed analysis of your PWM signal, to have all the information about duty cycle, frequency, phase shift between two signals, minimum and maximum dead time, as well as minimum and maximum pulse width. We hope that this video is useful for you, and we look forward to hearing your impressions about the PWM analyzer component. Thank you for watching.